lot of people have been asking about the LiDAR system for Marlin, and it's finally here. Hi, I'm Jeroen, and I'm a systems design engineer here at Atmos. I'm here to talk about the newly introduced Atmos LiDAR today. The newly introduced LiDAR has been a collaboration with Inertial Labs, who has made one of the most accurate LiDAR systems in this weight class. The LiDAR is a different mapping method compared to photogrammetry. So using a spinning rotating laser scanner in here, it actually sends out pulses of laser to the ground, which then get reflected back up. And from there, it measures both the distance and the angle from which it came from. That combined with IMU data and GPS data gives you a raw point cloud. The LiDAR sensor consists of multiple parts. Over here, you can see the actual laser scanner Right underneath it, inside of the payload module, there is the IMU located and the GPS receivers. At the top here, you can see the two antennas that are being used for the positioning for the LiDAR payload. As you can see, we cannot really use all 360 degrees, but we can scan up to 105 degrees. That gives us a very large swap width and also gives you very nice oblique capabilities. The Atmos LiDAR is compatible with most Marlin Cobalts out there in the field already. Uh, but for some of the older ones, you might need to check compatibility with the sales team to make sure that it can fix yours as well. LiDAR can be used for various different kinds of uh, for mapping. Um, one of the biggest benefits is that it can actually penetrate foliage quite well, so you can map in forested areas. So you can see all the way up, up from the canopy down to the understory. You can even see the forest floor. So that gives you a lot of information, for example, for biomass mapping, or actually to figure out what the terrain underneath the forest is like. So the biggest benefit here is that you can actually map the data underneath it. But for photogrammetry, using the pictures, you can only see the top of the tree, so you can only map the canopy. So that's the biggest difference here. One of the biggest benefits of LiDAR is that you don't require good lighting from the sun in order to scan. Uh, which you do need for photogrammetry, which can limit your operational windows quite a bit. So for LiDAR, you can fly at any time of the day, and even if you want to and are allowed to, you can even fly at night. Another major benefit of the LiDAR compared to photogrammetry is that the data can be processed really quickly after flying. You can just add to, uh, your base station data and your processing will be done in minutes, not hours. The area coverage can vary quite a bit depending on what kind of data you want out of your LiDAR fold. If you need a sparser point cloud, then it makes sense to fly at 120 meters with a slide up of 20%, and that can give you a coverage of over around 650 hectares. But for more forested areas, it makes sense to go down a little bit to around 80 meters and fly with 40% slide up. And for that, you can get a coverage around uh, 250 hectares. For those who are already familiar with flying with a Martin Cobalt, the planning in Navigator is just as simple as with any other camera. So that's just a matter of uh, selecting the payload, creating the flight plan, and go from there. The post-processing with the Atlas LiDAR is quite simple and really quick. The software which you need for it is provided by Inertial Labs, and um, with that, you just take your data off of your USB stick, you put your base station files in it, and you just hit process. As simple as that. And from there, you get your point cloud, and with that point cloud, you can do a little bit of filtering where you can select, for example, on the lines, you can put your scanning distance in there, and from there, you can just export your data and you get your LAS file. Before the processing, there is a license that is required for it. But your first year's license is already included with the price of the lighter. So we've been testing the LiDAR system here for a little bit and the initial data has really impressed us and I think it will impress you as well. So the accuracy and the quality of the data is really difficult to put into words. So I would love for you to watch it yourself in the Atmos Gallery. We have a couple of data sets there for you to look around in, to browse and to actually see some of the finer details. And if you want to analyze it in a bit more detail, you can actually download the raw data as well. The Atmos LiDAR is available right now. Contact your local distributor to get more information and get your order started.